And then when I got here, I remember the first time I went to San Diego downtown, it was horrible. And then I went to LA. I can horrible. just see the YouTube video. Mexican immigrant says America is horrible. You know, <laughs> What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back here with a new video. Today we're going to check it out. Mexican immigrant says America is horrible. Okay, this is one of the entitled immigrants again. I call him Charlie Kick because I love kicking us. Um, let's get right to today's video. How, how is the best way to solve homelessness and crime in America? Because it has, when I, I, I'm come from Tijuana and when I got here, I always hear about America being the greatest nation, um, being the, where no one is poor, you know? And then when I got here, I remember the first time I went to San Diego downtown, it was horrible. And then I went to LA. I can horrible. just see the YouTube video. Mexican immigrant says America is horrible. You know, it's just like, it's to see it. No, I'm giving you a hard time. Yeah, it, it's very simple. Um, we know how to solve crime. You lock up criminals and you don't relax penalties. We know how to solve homelessness. I have a heart for the homeless. Many of them have mental issues that they're dealing with. A vast majority have substance abuse issues. Super simple. You have to have a prime directive. The streets are not your home, period. We're going to get you help. We're going to bring you to a shelter. We're going to help you recover. We're going to get you treatment. We're going to make sure you get attention. You're going to get fed. You're going to get clothed. You don't do it in the open air. It's not good for you. It's not good for society. It's not good for our hospital system. It's not good for anybody. For example, if you go to a local hospital between 1 and 5 a.m., I guarantee there'll be two to three homeless people every night that run into traffic. They get run over by a bus. They get run over by a car. And it, it is completely unnecessary in the sense that if they were in a shelter, that wouldn't be happening. And these poor people, a lot of them die. They run into traffic. It takes huge resources. You know, you have to all of a sudden, you know, read direct a lot of things in the emergency room. Other people who need critical care might get triaged and they might not get the same attention that's necessary. That's just one example of dozens. And um, so we, we need to do what we once did in this country, which is we love you. We're not going to allow you on the streets. We're going to nicely and kindly pick you up and we're going to bring you to a homeless shelter. And if you come back again, we're going to bring you back to the homeless shelter. And I, for one, do not want to raise my child in a country where I have to tell her what to do when she's playing in a playground if she encounters a hypodermic needle. That is literally there are guidelines mm. in Seattle and Portland public schools of what kids, what to do if you're a seven or eight year old, if you come across a hypodermic needle. And that, that is the excesses of allowing a fringe population to basically manipulate the standard of living of the rest of us. So have compassion for the homeless. The streets are not your home. Thank you so much. I yeah, appreciate thank it. You, thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Okay, this was... This is a meaningful conversation, but it was not what I was expecting. I was thinking the guy right here is... Um, um entitled Mexican immigrants. Well his statement was like when he was coming, he felt like there was no one in the streets. America is a perfect place. But when he came he saw something different. And I kinda like agree with what Charlie said. The street is not your home. There's a charity home for people who are homeless. And when they feel like they don't want to stay there again and they go back to the street, they should carry them back there. It's really, really serious in America that when you see people who are homeless, you, you feel pity for them. But America is trying its best to create more charity homes, more homes for people who are homeless. Because we all know that life is not equal with everyone. Everybody is different. You understand? Some people are privileged enough to have where to sleep in. Some people are privileged enough to, to live in a very comfortable place. But some people, they don't have such. They don't have such. And uh, where they're coming from is, is bad. Some of them, is because of how life turned out to be. That they turn homeless. So guys, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore Buku bitches in my bed I got scales all